final call for boarding, final call for boarding for the last remaining passengers. Last remaining passengers on Philippine Airlines. A train is in the house. Howdy, folks. A train here with another episode of Sim Airport Early Access. And we are going to continue our tutorial series on how to play the game and how to get the base. I just launched the game. There's an airport. I can start playing airport up and running. All right, so you'll get this screen here. What we're going to do is close that out. We're going to go over here to menu and load up our saved game. Load game, test 13. That's the one we're running and load it up. This should take just a few seconds here. Pull it up and then we're going to stand by to pause it right there. All right, now we're paused. So let's recount where we are. What we've done is we uh, rezoned the area out front of the terminal here to move the garbage area from the top to the bottom, move drop-offs out front of ticketing and pickups out front of baggage claim. Furthermore, we built a baggage uh, conveyor system that runs from ticketing over to the baggage uh, routing station, the BRS, and back over to the baggage carousel in baggage. We also added a small hangar with a single baggage cart assigned to it, a baggage car, that will pick up bags and deliver them uh, to and from the aircraft and the BRS. Furthermore, inside we did a little bit of modification to the security zone. We shortened it up, we moved the uh, baggage scanner in line with the ID check stand and with the metal detector here just so we have those set up for future expansion but the more uh, immediate concern would be if you're ready to launch and play the game then you can accept flights the packs are going to deplane they're going to come around this corner and they're going to flow out on the side of security here and so there will be less mess of interaction with uh, people coming into security We've got a solution for this problem that we're going to implement in this episode, though, so we won't have to worry about it. Thus, if you are happy with where this is and you want to start taking flights, here's what I'm going to do. There's one project to do, and that is upgrade the runway with lights. So we're going to go to the runway. We're going to left click and click upgrade. Grab the runway lights. We've got to center this over. See how it says properly aligned with the runway? Boom. Left click, 25 grand later it will be done. Now the only problem is closing this menu you have to hit the escape button. Most of the other menus you can just click somewhere on it and close it out. Okay so now a delivery truck is going to come along and deliver that and they're going to get your uh, runway lights installed. Once that is done you click on airline interest you can start scheduling flights and as you can see here there's three that want to come in the morning, four in the midday that's between noon and 6 p.m. and three at night. This is good. So you've got to have lights on the runway to accept this flight. If I click here, you'll see here, locked. Requires at least one runway to be upgraded with lights. Well, that's in progress, so that's good to go. Now, we're going to do scheduling in the next video. So if you're good with the airport as is, that's fine. If you think you got a handle on it based on the one other thing I recommend is we're going to put in a queue line over here at uh, the gate, and we're going to make some changes there. But if you feel comfortable, then, hey, feel free to jump in to the next episode, learn how to do the scheduling, and then get into playing the game. For now, I'm going to dismantle this gate agent desk, and we're going to dismantle a couple of other things. And that's going to allow us to add something that's critical in the game right now. And that is dealing with garbage. Now, I say critical in the game right now, you have to take that with a measure of understanding. I am on the experimental server, which means I'm seeing uh, updates and patches a little sooner than the general public. I mean, there's a bunch of us on it, and you're welcome to get on it. There are instructions on the message boards on Steam under Sim Airport. There's the experimental branch discussions. You can go in there, and it tells you it's very easy how to switch over and see the newest and latest and greatest. At the same time, we do have to deal with a few more bugs because that's what we're here for is resolving those bugs. Okay, so what am I going to do? I'm going to put a garbage can here in this bathroom. I'm going to close this out. We need to put garbage cans in these other bas uh, restrooms. So I'm going to dismantle a sink here. Not that one. I'm going to dismantle this one here. Dismantle the sink closest to the, to uh, to the door. Those will get dismantled by our, uh, our workers who were hanging out down in the deliveries area. And we hired a bunch, so we're up to 10. This will get taken care of really quick. 
and then uh, we'll put some garbage cans in their place. Okay, so we're gonna hit this real quick. Move forward at 10 times speed. Here come the workers, they're gonna come in, take those sinks out, take that gate agent desk out, and then that gate agent's gonna go wandering off. Now, we wanna wait for this gate agent desk to get down here to storage. Then we will see it in inventory. See, if you put sink, now we know we took out three sinks, right? That's probably one right, there's the other two right there. So let's say those are the other two sinks. But there's one in the storage area. If you look at objects, you scroll down to sink, it says zero dollars, one in stock. That's because there is one sitting in storage. So we want to wait for the others to get there before we start spending money. Uh, likewise, we want the gate agent desk, that's a ticketing desk, gate agent desk to get there before we spend money on it. Now, I'm going to make a modification here. A gate agent desk is two tiles wide by one tile high. We're going to set this up because we don't want to block this area right here. Now this side is okay and this window is okay. See this is the large sliding door. It's four tiles wide. Realistically you could not have this. You could just have wall here, wall here, and put the sliding door which is two tiles wide in that gap. Okay, That's located right here. All right, So it's two tiles wide then you have to have wall either side of it because that's a four tile gap made by that large sliding door. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to move the gate agent desks over here so they're out of the way. We're going to put one there, we're going to put another one next to it, and another one next to it. We're going to put three in play. All right. So now I'm going to go back to objects and I'm going to come down here to gate agent desk. We'll make sure it's rotated the right direction. Let's take a closer look at it. See the microphone and the computer screen facing upward? That means the desk is facing downward. That's the way we want it to be. If I rotate it, you can see the computer screen. Now we're looking at it from the back side, which is where the gate attendant stands, or the agent. Now we're looking at it to the right, and now the back. So we're going to drop two of these in place here. And I'm going to show you what happened because we took that other gate desk out. This uh, gate here says requires at least one gate agent desk to be assigned. Once we build a new one, uh, it'll be good, okay, and they'll be happy. Now, another couple of little things we want to think about doing um, are going to be building-wise, and this is just getting us up and ready to go for aircraft. We're going to build a queue line over here. Now, we've got three gate agent desks. I'm going to use the planning tool to plan where this queue line goes. I want, the, if you look at the desk, see where the computer monitor is on this side of it, the, the if you were behind the desk, it would be the right front corner of the desk. That's where it looks like people tag their tickets. Okay, So that's the area you want to keep clear. You want to keep a row at least clear in front of those desks. It's okay if you drop uh, in the uh, queue, queue line right about here. If you can have uh, two rows, that's even better because then people can move and they can cut across. What we're going to do is we're going to start here and we're going to run our queue line this direction then we're going to run it back this direction and then let's see actually I'm going to move, go one more this way and take one off this way and there's a method to my madness I'll show you in just a minute then we're going to run it back this direction okay and we're going to actually cut short on that last uh, tile there as well okay so why did we do this because I'm going to build segregated queue lines for coach class passengers and first class passengers. Remember with the building the queues you go to queues, expand the queue, the first square you put down is the anchor point. You build from that point and that should be closest to the, that's basically the exit of the queue line as opposed to the entrance where people walk into the queue line, this is where they come out. We're going to drag, hold the left mouse button and drag or use the WASD or arrow buttons. Go here, down to here, over here, and again if I, oops, I screwed up, click shrink queue, and you can't do this anywhere in the queue line except the end piece. Left click it, go back to expand, click and drag, and we're set. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to put in a first class queue line, and I'm going to put it so it ends right there, it comes out here, it runs along here and stops there. I think that's going to be more than enough for the type of aircraft we have coming in here initially. 
The key is to leave yourself room to expand. All right. So we'll close out the cue line. We're going to play at 10 times speed and let this move forward just a little bit. See the train zipping through. Here comes the bus. We got some parts coming in. All right. Now we've had our uh, garbage bins come in. We're going to go back to objects. We're going to put garbage bins in these restrooms. We're going to rotate them, put one on that wall, one on this wall, and one on this wall. Now we're going to pause. All right. Our two gate agent desks got built, and now they're saying, uh-oh, there's a problem. Master idiot alert. We're going to click over here and build one more, which is one we've got in storage. Okay. Well, actually, they probably already built the one we have in storage. So uh, that gives us a third one. Now, what we've got to do, this alert's telling us, requires an aircraft gate to be assigned. We're going to click on the gate desk, click Assign to, Assign to gate A1. And it creates this little red line that says you're hooked up. Now, we've got two queue lines here to deal with. Well, this first one on the left is going to be for first class packs. And we're going to assign to that. The second one's going to be for coach packs. And we assign to that. So that desk is done. Now, see the... the uh, exclamation alert went away. So now we're going to go to the second one. Assign, 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 close. And then that will disappear. Now if I click on this, see how the lines connect? It connects from the gate to the end point of each queue line. All right. That means it's hooked up and we're all good. All right. So what else are we going to do? There's, there's a thing we have with security you really almost can't have enough security lines and we're going to be taking airplanes here that can have upwards of 180 passengers although they probably won't come in that full initially and they won't go out that full initially we have to be prepared for that and this one security line is going to really back up trying to put 100 people through it so let's go ahead and expand this to include a second set of equipment and the way we'll do this is I'll show you on planning we'll use the cyan color this metal detector is two tiles we're gonna put metal detector here baggage scanner is three tiles one two three that goes there ID check stand one tile goes there boom done so now that's set so now we go to objects there's the baggage scanner we can put that up against this wall See, so it's okay. You could put them just boom right next to each other like that, but realistically, you got to have room for the packs to walk by. I mean, uh, the the agent can stand in there. So I like to put them at least a, a tile apart. We're going to drop that there. We're going to scroll down, pick up the ID check stand. Notice the shield on the front. That's the front. So we're going to hit R to rotate 90 degrees to the left. Click that. Then here's the metal detector. Notice there's an arrow on top of it. We want that facing right, just like with the bag scanner. Rotate, rotate, and click. It's good to go. Now those are ordered, and they're going to come in. But then there's this queue line, and it's offset, and it's kind of a little janky. So I'm going to take that out and move it. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to create the anchor points for what I want. And what I want is going to be to have one queue line end here. That's going to be the new coach queue line, okay? And then the second queue line will be first class. It's going to end where the current one uh, sits. So we're going to take the other one out. Notice the, the cursor is red until we get to the end. We left click and drag. That takes it out, and we're done. Now we're going to expand queue. I'm going to put this one. This is going to be the coach, so we're going to run three over or four over maybe five you know what we're kind of cutting into the space here for baggage claim I don't like that a whole lot so let's do this let's shrink that back down we're going to expand Q we're going to start here give us one more tile we're going to come over and now the problem is we can't get up here well that's not going to work let's go back and undo that so we need room to set up our two Q lines and I want to do this so we're happy with it you know what it is I think maybe I've got this a little further over a different orientation than I did previously uh, I think I had that set up vertically when I initially thought this out so let's do this let's go ahead 
and set up, oops, we're in shrink queue, you gotta be in expand queue. We're gonna start here. Whoops, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna expand the queue. We're gonna go five out. We'll go back this way. This is actually mostly rebuilding what we had. And I think actually that'll be okay for now. That's gonna be the coach queue line, and then this is gonna be first class. It's just gonna be a short line. So now, we close those out, we go to ID check stand. Assign to, and there's the queue lines. Any packs, we change the coach. Any packs, we change the first class. Assign, assign, close. We're gonna run things forward real quick and get that done. Now, there's our uh, gate agent heading over here. We're gonna need at least two more staff for these other two gates. Uh, gate desks. There's one, here comes the other person, and it's done. And now that they're running up there, and that's okay. All right, security is upgraded. Good to go. Let's pause again, and now let's look at what we've got. We have two ID check stands. This is the new one, so we need to assign it to first class and to coach. And then we need three more security officers. Don't chance on your security. Have a security officer for every piece of equipment. One, two, three. All right, so we get the group in here. Also, let's see, staff, we have five staff because we have two ticket desks and three gate agent desks. So we're covered in that regard. The other thing we'll pick up is a, an extra janitor. All right, so now those are set. We are pretty much ready to go. But, so if you, at this point, let's assign the gate agent desk, assign it to gate one, our staff member will show up we're only going to assign that to coach only because we've got two that are handling first class packs. All right, now planning. We're going to clear out our planning. As soon as we unpause, then that other uh, staff member will come over here and jump on that desk. All right, we're going to clear this out. Now, we've built security across the security area. That means it's going to be tricky for people to get by there. So what we need to do now is add to the foundation and build a hallway. If you start here and build up, what's going to happen is it's going to take down the interior wall and you will lose your security integrity. So we've got to have this wide enough for two tiles. We want it to be two tiles wide and we want to get past security a couple of tiles. So we're going to go to there and then this is going to be the other doorway and then this is gonna be the wall. So we've gotta fill this space up with foundation. So we're gonna do this right here, click that, and we're gonna punch it. One other thing is we've researched our CFO. He's done, she's done, whoever it is that we hire. All right, pricing is gonna be something we want. Therefore, I'm going to put space up here for an office for our CFO. We've got one wall, we've got to put a doorway in the wall, and they only need a three by three square to be their office. That's all they need for office space for now. So we need walls here, here, and we'll go ahead and have it here and it lines up nice and neat with this restroom. Okay, so we're gonna go build foundation and add to that. Now, we'll go fast speed. Everybody's walking around, everybody's happy. Here comes the delivery guy, and we've got stuff on the way. Okay, so these people are going to come up here, and they're going to start hammering away on this foundation. And then what we're going to do is twofold. We're going to clear out the doubled up stuff, and they're going to finish it up. Thank you. All right, we're going to clear out this space, clear out this space, and that's gonna violate security, but it's okay because we're gonna throw a couple of, uh, of um, security exits in there. And then once they get that space done, we're gonna build that as the office, okay? That's gonna get us taken care of and that's where we're gonna wrap up this episode. So we're coming to an end here pretty quickly. All right, here comes the people to take the stuff down. All right, now, security is effectively violated at this point. And once they get this last one, boom. Now, here's the issue. See how everything just went red alert on us, including my timer? Everything went red alert because we do not have a secure area. So we're gonna zoom back in, we're gonna go to objects, scroll down to security exit. 
Now you've got to pay attention to these. If basically the red is the no-go side, the green is the go side. So you see how it's red? And then we're looking down on it here. It's red, it's green to the right and red to the left, which means you can pass through from right to left, but not left to right. So we're going to drop these in right here, even with the uh, metal detectors. And that's going to reestablish our security zone. Look how everything's, see, it's cleared up. It says, oh, okay, we're happy. Now, we're going to hit go again. And then here's the office. We're going to do one more thing with the office. And then we're going to close out this episode. We are going to clear out this wall. And we are going to order a door and desk and chair. So we need a door, and now we're getting an auto save. We're going to just drop the door here. We need a office desk, which is here. We can actually install this in place. We're going to put that right there. Notice you rotate it. You're looking at the computer screen. Now it's facing left, up, right. We're going to put it there. And the office chair, we're going to rotate and put here. Boom. Now. We're going to hit uh, go. This stuff's going to get delivered. And we're going to right click on this door and cancel it. Because we need to put it in this wall. So now we're going to come back to it. It's getting delivered. We're going to take it and we're going to put it right here. We're going to rotate it. And now they will drop it in there. The other thing is this ticketing thing is going to go wonky on us a little bit. So what I'm going to do actually is do a couple things in zones right now. We're going to dezone this area just for now. We may change it back later. And before we get to where it's too late, we're going to pick up a couple of three ticketing kiosks to put here in the ticketing zone. Okay, So people will come and use those, and that will make it easier because if they don't have baggage, they don't need to check in at the desk. They can go to the kiosk and get through quicker. Now we're going to hit play, run 10 times speed. The delivery truck will come along here in just a moment. Here he comes. We got parts coming in, there's the desk, here comes the chair, here comes the boom, the, uh, the office is done. Now we go to zone, office. We zone this in as an office space. We'll clear out our planning, like that. And now we can hire a CFO. We'll drop them right here, and there's our CFO. Looks like it's a she. She will make her way over to the office now that the door is being built. And ta-da, we have a CFO that's in our office and happy and ready to rumble. So now we're going to put her to work researching pricing. You've got to have this as soon as possible. We have everything passed. We're ready to go. So we have an airport that's up, functional, baggage is covered, security is covered. We've expanded a little bit. We can go ahead and even add some of that tiling in to match the rest of the airport. So we go over here in the build menu, and it's floor 01. We can build that along here, and then right here. And that will cover that floor, and then the packs will move faster across it. And then we're going to put some of this carpet in the CEO's office, because why not? We'll put carpet there and there. That stuff will get delivered. That has no uh, impact whatsoever on operations. So now, all we need to do is put in a few amenities. We'll put some benches in. We'll put in some in, in flight information boards. And we'll be ready to take some flights and uh, have some happy passengers here. You can see our workers are installing the tile and installing the uh, carpet. That's all set. Now, if it looks funny, we can hit the Z button. That takes off the zones, and you can see the carpet. Okay? You hit Z, it turns it back on. So that's going to be the end of this episode. We're going to wrap it up. We've uh, expanded security, added a bypass for security. We have our uh, everything all set up for baggage, ticketing, the gate, gate agents, queue lines. We just need to add in a few amenities here and there, make it pretty. And we have a CFO that's in place and researching pricing for us. So then we'll be able to bump up how much we charge for using the runway and per passenger for terminal use. Okay? So we'll save it here. Go menu, save game. This is test 13. And confirm overwrite. We are all set.
I'll be looking forward to seeing you on the next episode. I want to thank you for stopping in. I'm A-Train. Please give us a like and subscribe. Tell your friends about us and go check out Sim Airport. This is a really cool game and early access available now on Steam, uh, right about $20. Uh, I'll have some links in the uh, description below. And uh, also check out the other videos if you missed anything. Next up is going to be, we're going to outfit the terminal and do scheduling. So come and join us again for that. Appreciate you stopping by. Have a great day.